Well, this is peculiar. My computer seems to be loading something, and I have no idea what it is. I do believe that it's time to leave. Hi. Yeah, that was just wishful thinking. Okay, before we begin what I can only assume to be a charming night underway, there's a few things we need to cover. First off, this is the third installation of Scott Cathan's Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's is a point-and-click horror survival game that loves its jump scares, and at this point has more fans than a furry convention has hair. In the first game, five animatronics consisting of Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and Golden Freddy tried to kill you because you weren't in a suit, which is against Fazbear policy. They have a very strict dress code, so they attempt to murder you. Your only way to prevent this is to close the door before they get the chance to stuff you in one of their suits. Then the sequel, which turned out to be a prequel, has the same ordeal, but now there are 11 animatronics in total. Adding to the list, we now have Toy Bonnie, Toy Chica, Toy Freddy, Balloon Boy, The Mannequin, and the illustrious Mango. Six new animatronics with nothing better to do than murder you in a similar fashion by, once again, stuffing you in a suit. Only this time, instead of a door, we have a mask. But don't worry, the old animatronics are there to help them as well. Glad to see they keep their priorities straight. To no surprise, these establishments have been shut down, but now the question remains, what became of them after all this time? Well, some 30-odd years have passed, and apparently they are reopening its doors. Coming soon, Fazbear Fright, the horror attraction. Oh, already getting a good vibe. Local amusement park is getting ready to scare your socks off with a new attraction based on the unsolved mysteries of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Featuring actual relics from decades-old pizzeria, this new attraction is guaranteed to bring back your childhood in the worst possible way. Ah, uh, yes, I'm remembering now. I'm remembering I want to kill you. I'm excited for my new job at this establishment. I'm sure everything will go fine. Now that's phone guy. I think I'll just set this place on fire. Hey, hey, glad yeah, you too late. Back. So yeah, it's actually Wait, someone new on the phone for once. And we're out tracking down a new lead right now. I so, miss uh, phone guy. Did he just make a joke about getting stuffed in a suit? You're one sick son of a bitch. <laughs> I like you more already. And we found a desk fan. Very old school. Metal, though. So watch the fingers. Oh. What could a metal fan? Oh. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. Why would I need to do that? Trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. <laughs> Why is everyone who runs these places complete morons? Okay, keep an eye on things. We'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. Well, goodbye then. Well, look at this place. It's pretty cool. I like all this stuff, but it's more of a museum than a horror attraction. Unless blinking lights is supposed to be scary. While we are waiting for our impending doom, may as well explain what the controls of this game are. Like its predecessors, this is a point and click game, so your controls are your mouse and left button. You click certain areas on the screen to bring up your cameras, switch between them, move your screen left and right, reboot your systems, and make a balloon boy noise. <laughs> Why Balloon Boy? I haven't the foggiest, but I believe we will find out soon enough. <laughs> well, I'm waiting for something to jump out. Or not? Maybe it is a normal job. I will take that as a no. Oh goody, the minigames are back. This ought to be interesting. Let's take a look around. Nope, a whole lot of nothing. You know, except for the secret code and all that. Follow me. Yeah, I'm gonna go with no. This direction looks much better than that one, because that one looks like death. And apparently I don't have a choice in the matter. Alright, where are we going? Apparently purple guy in a suit. I can't enter. Okay, I'll go elsewhere. Or die, that works too. Alright, second night. The guy on the phone said he'd have something new for me. Great. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Oh. <laughs> Alright, that's a load off. I thought you were gonna say you found one. 
You're not gonna believe this. We found one. Well, shit. Uh, 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 That's not good. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I, I'm sure you'll see it. Oh, it's already in this building. Never mind, I have a much better solution to this problem. Tactical nuke incoming! How did I miss? Hey, phone guy, it's good to hear from you, man. How's it have been? I'd love to chat, man, but kill robots and all that. So you're the new robot. How's it going? Hey, where'd he go? Oh, he follows the sound of Balloon Boy. New mechanics. I like it. So, to sum up what Phone Guy was saying, two of these suits have the ability for somebody to climb inside them by a spring load device that moves their innards. I see this one and can guess which Hi. is the other. Well, if this is all I have to do, this is gonna be easy. And my audio's not working. I guess that would be the catch. So the systems can malfunction, so when this happens, I have to go to the left and reset them. Simple enough, but takes your eye off him, which concerns me. Well, everything seems to be going pretty smoothly. You know, other than the braking systems and all. Um... Holy! I, I'm not dead. Great, why is the light to out oh, the ventilation? So, not all the animatronics will kill me? What in the fuck? I would also like to point out the fact that they are all dicks. Every single one of these animatronics is assholes. Except for you, Mangle. You're, you're cool. Ah oh, shit, that bastard's in the vents. But that's okay, because if we toggle the map, we can close it by double-clicking the camera. It's very convenient they set it up that way. Almost ironic. Oh yeah, and this animatronic is called Springtrap. Just thought you would like to know. Okay, back here again, and I would like to point out that Bonnie is blue. Just saying, it's not the purple one. Alright, let's take a peek around. Hey, cupcakes! Why do I feel this is important? Well, I guess I just have to walk to my doom. Alright, purple guy, come get me. Fine, don't see if I- that, that. Stop it. Stop it. Bad. Alrighty, now I wonder what information will be tossed our way this time. Usually shit hits the fan by night three. Breathe on the spring lot, and moisture may loosen them and cause them to break loose. So breathing on them would cause the spring mechanism to release and kill me. I want to play a game. Damn ventilation system. Oh, he's in one of the vents. Better close it. Wait, is this the right one? Well, I guess it wasn't. You know, after a bit, I finally realized who Springtrap makes me think of. Hello? Who the fuck said that? Who's the slimy little communist shit twinkle toad cocksucker down here who just signed his own death war? Springtrap. Sergeant. Who would have guessed? Sergeant Springtrap. Reporting for duty, sir. Hmm, yeah! playing as Chica now. Well, I did find some weird numbers, but that was about it around this place. Oh, that's weird. I can make Chica walk backwards. I have way too much free time. Well, nothing left to do. Better go confront the purple man. Surprise, motherfucker! Alright, fourth night. This is a night when shit got serious, and I had to start putting my best foot forward. Not only did Springtrap move faster and become more aggressive, I learned that sometimes the best tactic is no tactic at all. Where is that prick? I know he's here somewhere. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Oh well, screw it at this point. I'm going to get a glass of milk. What in the... Well, that went pretty good, all things considering. Alright, now we get to play as Foxy. I explore once again only to find Shadow Bonnie in the walls, but not much else around the map. There's rats. Interesting. Guess I just have to accept my fate and walk to the gates of hell. Alright, purple dude. Do what you will to me. May we take a moment of silence for the loss of one of the greatest characters in this game. Bored now, moving on. Night 5. 
Alright, right, no pissing around this time. We need to be absolutely spot on and be serious as possible. Guide him around with the noise, reset the audio. Now where did he- is that the manic- ah shit, why did I look? Please go away. Thank you, much appreciated. We'll just keep guiding him back and forth between these two rooms, and voila, you have conquered the challenge of night five. And another minigame? What we played is all the characters in the- Well, touche, I didn't see that coming. So even though it's the final night, I did walk around to see if anything was here, but it ends up we just have to enter the room the animatronics could not to confront the purple man. Hey man, just, just come over here for a second, just wanna talk to you. Now, now what are you doing in there? Come on, you need to get out of there. Well, holy shit, that was brutal. I know he was a bad person, but man, that was just, ugh. It seems like that trap has been sprung. Yeah, <laughs> we're not done yet. Oh, that's kind of cute. Wait, bad ending? Whoa, just hang on there a sec. There's multiple endings to this game. That's new. I know I died a few times, but I like to think I did pretty good for an individual. So what do I have to do to get the good ending? So I did a little research and understand the following is a combination of all the hidden little secrets in the minigames that when done in order, give you the good ending. Just let me show you, it's easier than explaining. First up, on night two, we click on the Balloon Boy poster in camera eight and enter his minigame. Collect all the balloons from this room, then jump out the wall on the left. After falling to the bottom, head right and you will find the final balloon. Next on camera 7, click the buttons on the arcade machine in the following order, which unlocks Mangle's quest. Collect all your parts while avoiding the rather large individual, and once again jump out the side of the map. At the bottom, head left, and begin to climb the balloons. At the top, you will find a cake. Once again, go to camera 8 and click on Balloon Boy's poster. Jump out the side of the wall again, and this time you will land on some balloons. Proceed across to bring the cake to the crying child. Move on to night 3. On this night, we have to find four cupcakes hidden around the map. You can find them in cameras 4, 3, 2, and camera 6. This will take you to Chica's party minigame. In this game, grab one of the cakes, go down here, then jump up here and bring a cake to the crying child. On night 4, you have to use the code you found in night 3's minigame to input the number in the tiles to unlock Golden Freddy's minigame. In this game, go forward and you will glitch out the side. Fall all the way to the bottom, then proceed to the right. At the right side of the second room, climb the wall by jumping. Then, glitch your way into the room above by jumping to the left of Springtrap's feet. Once you enter the room, go to the right side and climb up the wall. Once again, glitch through the floor, but this time climb the left wall. Now, your only thing left to do is to jump off the right side. You'll glitch through the wall and give the child the cake. On night five, click the hidden Shadow Bonnie figurine by Foxy's picture. Press S repeatedly until it becomes Balloon Boy's minigame. Jump up and out the left side once again and press S until you see the child. Once again on night 5, switch to camera 3 and click on the marionette picture. Walk all the way right to find all the kids that were saved and give a cake to the final child. Now your only goal remaining is to beat night 5, and once you complete this level, once again walk the child to the hidden room. Chase him into the suit and simply watch. And there we have it, the true ending. I think it's rather touching because how it shows the children's souls have moved on from the suits through the lights in their eyes. Really, I've become attached to the lore of this game. It's really nice. Also, this is an excellent choice of music. I feel piano is one of those instruments that really digs deep with the emotions. For completing the game, we unlock the animatronics tab in extras, which allows us to view some of the animatronics you interact with throughout the game. By getting the good ending, we also unlock all the minigames we played throughout the game. Now that remains one challenge in this game, Nightmare Mode. It's akin to the sixth night. Springtrap is just more active than before, and the other animatronics pop up more frequently. But the mechanics remain the same with no twist. Upon completion, we are greeted with this newspaper clipping. That is correct, it burned to the ground. Fire has engulfed the entire building and destroyed all within. And what is left is to be auctioned off. While that's nice and all, I highly doubt that's enough to destroy these animatronics. They're quite the tough individual. 
Not to mention, even if it destroyed Springtrap, it turns out the other animatronics were not actually there and were just illusions. I Ming, mean, they're still out there. Do -do 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 -do. By winning this night, we also get to view all the animatronic jump scares. But really, that's all there is to it. Oh yeah, and cheat mode, which you can literally turn on radar. Would have come in handy a lot sooner. So, what do I think of the game? It's another Five Nights at Freddy's. No, really, that is my answer. If you like the other two, you're going to like this one. It's a fun game that's short and sweet and is entertaining to play. Is it the greatest game ever? No. Do I like it? Yes. Is this the end of the review? Yes. And there we have it, another review completed. You know, that actually went pretty good. I think this one's gonna be really popular. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to keep up to date with my things, you can subscribe to the channel, like me on Facebook, or follow me on Twitter. Goodbye everyone, or Daja Zaijin.